Welcome aboard this salvage ship with the Space Cow Captain Rabbit. One of the biggest nerds around. Let's end this song with laser sound. Good morning, Outer Space. We are back with episode transmission number two. We are back with a new format, new opening animation, and uh, we're coming at it from a new angle. First thing we're going to talk about is the new topic. The new topic we're going to tackle is the Wolverine. We are going to go uh, in depth on the old knucklehead a little bit. Going into his origins, where he comes from, who he is, what he is, what he can do, all the cool shit that uh, you like him for. Uh, we are also going to be trying a new thing with this episode, where I get one of my buddies to transmit a message here, uh, one to five minutes on the topic of their choice. They can just go <laughs> verbal diarrhea on whatever they want, their opinion, take it, leave it, whatever, and uh, hopefully that'll be as fun as I'm hoping it'll be. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, do some Wolverine shit. So who is Wolverine? For most of his appearances, this hard-drinking, hard-fighting Canadian character has gone by the name Logan, but in the Origins miniseries, we found out that he was actually born James Jimmy Howlett. James was a sickly little kid, born to wealthy parents in 1800s Alberta, Canada, but he was pretty much a boy in a bubble. Bedridden and sickly most of the time with no friends or living siblings, the Howlets brought in a girl from town named Rose to keep him company. There was also another boy on the estate nicknamed Dog, son of Thomas the groundskeeper, and the three became fast friends over the summer. Over the next few years, Dog revealed himself as a bit of a psycho and kind of a shithead acting out on his jealousy until, eventually, the happy trio of friends ended. The big event in this series is the manifestation of James's powers, and like most mutants, they're triggered by a fucked up, dramatic event. In the big, dramatic, showstopper event of the first half of this story, a drunken Thomas, the groundskeeper, shows up after having been fired earlier on, waving his gun in the face of James's father, John. Those of you who have watched the overall terrible Wolverine Origins movie are probably familiar with how that all plays out, but for those who are fortunate enough to have missed that one, the short version is that Thomas was James's real father, and when he ends up shooting John, Wolverine's powers manifest and he ends up killing Thomas with his itty bitty baby claws. Alright, and that is where we're going to push pause on the telling of the story of James Howlett, James Logan, the Knucklehead, the Wolverine, the best there is at what he does. But we will pick up on that in our next transmission. Right now, we are going to kick it over to our very first guest segment, since I am going to be here at Station 7 for a bit. I'm going to check in with my good friend, Astronaut Annie. Astronaut Annie, you reading me? I'm here, Captain. All right. And with a new segment we're calling TV Talk, here is Astronaut Annie. weekend. Some people might say that the show has gone on a little bit too long, but I for one will be sad to see it go. We are going to take it back to season one and we're going to be pretty brief with it. We're just going to go with what Astronaut Annie says are her favorite and least favorite episodes of that season. So, uh, Astronaut Annie, 
Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. Awesome. Well, uh, you heard my quick and easy setup there. Take it away. What was your favorite out of season one? Well, my favorite one from season one is also the season finale, mm -hmm. which was uh, Devil's Trap. That's awesome. You had to wait the whole season to get to the good one. Uh, well, the best one for sure, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, well, what, what did you like? Oh, here. What was it about? So basically, we've come down to the point where the brothers, Sam and Dean, and their father, John, mm -hmm. are trying to capture and kill Azazel. So. As everyone knows, this does not turn out well. No, no, I, I, I seem to recall it doesn't turn out too good for them. Uh, do you want to spoil right away, or do you just kind of want to allude to some things? This is a full-on spoiler show, guys. If you haven't seen it by now, get your life together. Well, yeah, 15 years is a long time yeah. to see this episode. Get your life! So, basically, they don't <laughs> succeed, Azazel gets away, Everybody's hurt. They're trying to get to a hospital. And the big, big finale. They're hit by big truck. Everybody's all injured. Nobody knows if they're alive, dead. Fade to black. Of course, it's a, a big thing. If you got into the show, <laughs> you're wondering what the fuck. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is my favorite episode. Lots of action, lots of suspense. Excellent. All right. Uh, <clears throat> your least favorite episode? Uh, kind of a toss-up mm -hmm. between uh, ep episode two, Wendigo, and... Uh, I don't remember Wendigo. Uh, probably for good reason. <laughs> uh, uh, the other one would be Bugs, but uh, definitely of the two, Wendigo is my least favorite. It is the dog turd of the season. Yes. Uh, as I said, season or episode two, so just still trying to find its footing, trying to get its um, camaraderie between the two brothers in in the show. Um, Any first season, it's pretty shaky. They don't even know what the show is about yet. Yeah, not really. Yeah. Um, this one, they're they're basically trying to find a guy who had gone missing uh, while out camping. They come across this Wendigo. Uh, which it used to be human, uh, turned into a flesh-eating monster. And the most ridiculous part of the whole thing, in my opinion, is they kill it with a flare gun. Well, Wendigo's a pretty good reference, because uh, we're taking on Wolverine as our new topic here for the show. And we haven't gotten there yet, but in his first appearance, he uh, has to fight the Hulk and a Wendigo. Uh, as I recall, the Wendigo's a little different in Supernatural, though. Quite possibly. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, it's quick and easy. Any other final thoughts on season one? Um, not really, as with most shows, season one is its start, a little shaky, but uh, right at the end there, they kind of get a firm grasp on what they want to do and where they're headed. Perfect. All right, well, with that said, uh, just, uh, you know, stay safe out there. I know uh, astronauts, not the safest job. Uh, one final question before we go. They always say, you can just go in the suit like an astronaut. Do you just go in the suit? You just go in the suit. I thought so. All right, well, there's our first segment with uh, astronaut Annie. Goodbye, astronaut Annie. Bye. Bye.